News first at five. They were considered the smoking gun that led Matt Kelty to plead guilty. Now News Channel 15 breaks down some email exchanges between Kelty and his campaign members. Good evening. I'm Heather Heron. Mark is off tonight. News Channel 15 has obtained a copy of those emails. So, of course, the big question is, what was in them that swayed Kelty to change his plea? News Channel 15's Megan Stemble is following the story for us. Megan, you actually talked with Matt Kelty this morning. Yeah, I did talk to him on the phone this morning, Heather. He told me he's not ready to talk about this situation, but he will be tomorrow. He plans to hold a news conference. We're waiting on details for that. But in the meantime, the content of these emails says plenty in at least one of his supporters appears to be speaking out on the internet. The charges against former Fort Wayne mayoral candidate Matt Kelty center around how he reported campaign contributions from Glenna and Steve Yale and Fred Rost. The state brought charges against Kelty saying he knew some of the money had come from a Don Willis and didn't report it as such. In an email dated April 16, 2007, Ross suggests a plan to keep Willis's name out of the campaign reports. He then advises Kelty to discuss this with Willis before you pull the trigger. Tell him you're trying to protect his confidence. In another email, again dated April 16, 2007, Ross writes to Glenna Yale discussing a similar plan. In it, he makes a reference to an NP reasonably assumed to be Nelson Peters, Kelty's opponent in the Republican primary. Ross writes, ideally anyone can claim it and no one will still know who funded it, which is the important thing because Matt promised to keep them anonymous in large part because one of them is a big NP supporter. Yale responds sounding off against the Allen County Election Board and its Republican support of, again, NP. The Election Board looked into Kelty's finances to see if he had filed them correctly. Yale ends her email saying, don't be surprised if we can't keep the lid on this indefinitely. A letter from Yale posted on a local blog shows a change of tune, though. An editor's note said the letter was emailed to him from Yale. In it, Yale says of Kelty's plea, While this is not the outcome we were praying for, take heart. I know of two very important instances in the Bible where someone was wrongfully accused and mistreated. Now, the editor at that blog has taken that post down. He said it was at the request of Glenna Yale, but News Channel 15 has obtained a copy of it, and it is uh, in its entirety on Wayne.com. Reporting live in News Control, I'm Megan Stemble, News Channel 15. An entire floor.